They're the only survivors of Italy's worst migrant shipwreck. 155 African refugees, mainly from Eritrea, now in this overcrowded immigrant detention center. There were some 500 people believed to be on board. According to aid workers, they're too distraught, too shocked to talk. But we found three survivors willing to recount their harrowing ordeal. 30-year-old Gamani Nagasi tells me he'll never forget what he saw. For five hours we were floating, using the dead bodies of our companions. There is nothing worse than this. There were many children. There was a mother with her four children, a mother with an infant, all lost at sea. My mind is scarred and in a terrible condition. The traumatic first-hand accounts are helping build a picture of why this boat ended up on the seabed, with most of its passengers entombed below deck. There's been criticism. More was not done to help. Criticism repeated by the survivors. Hamid Mohammed, in the middle, is just 18. He swears to me an Italian vessel spotted them in trouble off the coast, but did nothing. The Italian's boat started circling around us. They circled our boat twice and just went away. That's when people started to panic. The captain said we needed to start a fire. He gathered some clothes and bed sheets and lit them. But his container of benzene exploded. People were screaming as the boat capsized. The lucky few were eventually rescued by Italian fishermen and the Coast Guard. The authorities have been criticized for filming this instead of saving more. 23-year-old survivor Abrahali Amari told me his dreams of a better life in Europe have been shattered. We left our country because of hardship, so that we could live in peace and help our families. But we have found this bitter sadness. It was so unexpected and so disturbing, and now we can't think of anything else. At the port, recovery teams are filling trucks with the bodies they're still pulling from the sea. As the human cost of this ill-fated voyage is literally still being counted.